Hi, my name is Sean Desiree, and welcome to our garden slash beginning sculpture park over there. Um, so today I'm going to be making, it's like a mix between a greenhouse and a coal frame. Generally, coal frames have like wooden sides. This one's going to have glass completely around it. So this is what I'm going to be building today. Um, I, I like to draw pictures, it help, helps me like focus on what I'm doing. So I have these screens. These are old storm windows and they're all slightly different. So what I did is I measured the basically the biggest one is what I'm making the frame for and the rest will be able to fit in. And so to frame out the, the screens, because they're not like wooden frames, I'm going to be making them myself. And this is, um, this is rough cut pine. Basically, it came as a like a six inch wide plank. Uh, so what I did is I just cut them lengthwise with a jigsaw. I made a little cutlass here to help me. So basically, it's a little bit bigger than the screen. So it will fit like this, leaving enough room here and then enough room here so I can screw them all together in the end. All right, so now I'm going to show you how I build one of the frames and it'll be the same process for all four. So I chose this project because it is feasible for people to do with very uh, small amount of resources. So for this project, all I need is my drill. I need a speed square, which you get from Home Depot for like a couple bucks. And a clamp is super helpful and some screws. Okay, so now I'm going to go through making one of them. Um, I always refer to my drawing because um, it reminds me of what's supposed to go on the outside or the inside when I'm making the frame. So as you can see, the outside piece is what goes on the outside and the bottom piece that goes on the inside. I've definitely done projects where I've done the opposite and it's very annoying. So always look back at your drawing. In order to connect these, there's like two things you can do. I would recommend gluing. Gluing is always helpful. It keeps it a bit stronger. I don't have wood glue. Um, well, instead, I'm just going to glue, I'm not going to glue it, I'm just going to use um, screws. But I recommend gluing if you're going to do it for yourself. Um, another thing you can do is that you can pre-drill it. There's these like pocket screw makers that you can attach to here. You can buy them at Home Depot. Um, I'm not going to use that just because I don't have it. So I'm making do by just, I'm going to be screwing in and taking it slow and making the angle myself. So I'll demo. So make sure it's in the center and you want to give it enough space back um, so that it doesn't go through this wood and also it doesn't get too short. So this right here seems about a good spot to me. So I'm holding it and slowly screwing it and slowly angling it as I'm going until I get it in like that. It's pretty good to see that angle. That's basically what you want. You don't want to make it too steep like this or else it'll just go out to here and not through your wood. Um, so now that I have that in, I could just keep going ahead, get it ready to be screwed in. I'm going to do the same thing to each of the four sides. So now that I have them ready, I just have to connect them now. Um, it's really helpful if you have some type of square situation, like a speed square or a carpenter square or framing square to help you make sure you're keeping it, you know, square. So it's really helpful if you have clamps as well. These are the quick clamps. They're the quickest to put on. They're not necessarily the strongest. Um, so I'm also going to be holding this piece as well. So this will help me to make sure it's straight. And now as I screw it in, I just have to put another thumb here for support to make sure it doesn't slip back that way. All right, so we built our first one. So I'm going to be doing this uh, three more times and then I'll show you the next step. So now I'm up to the next part where I could put the screen in. So see how I left um, some room in here for it to lay on and room outside here so that I can screw into. So what I'm going to do to make it so like this doesn't fall off when I sit it up, I'm putting these on similar to like a picture frame. Um, I This is lathe. That I, you, that I had from the inside of my house, I took down a wall. And so I don't know if you've ever seen the long, thin pieces of lathe, but basically I just cut them uh, like, it's about an inch, basically just enough so on both sides it'll be even. 
to give a little buffer so that this, it isn't going like this. It's propped up so it's like parallel, so I can screw it in easily. So I'm gonna be doing three of them. This is gonna be the, the bottom and this is gonna be the top. So I'm putting two in the bottom so the glass can't shift this way. And then I'm putting one up here just to keep it from falling over. I don't really need to. All right, so because this is such a small piece of wood, just like an inch and a half, I'm gonna need to drill like a pilot hole in order for it to not split. All right, so now that I drilled the pilot holes, I'm gonna put the screws in. There are two inch screws. Basically, depending on the thickness of your wood, um, this, this is about like one inch. So you wanna just make sure you have screws that you know won't go past your project, it also, but also will go through your project to the second piece of wood. All right, that's nice and solid. All right, perfect, it didn't split, which is good. The pilot hole did its job. And so now we have basically a picture frame. Didn't fall out, that's the test. All right. Now I'm gonna do the same thing to the rest of the other three, and then we'll do assembling it together. Okay, so now I've come to the part where I'm going to be putting the last frame on. Putting a screw here. Trying to get the screw to go straight up and down and as close to the screen as possible. There's another one. Great. It's overlapped. I'm going to each of the corners first. And I'm doing the screen on top because I don't want anything to interfere with it closing all the way. All right. And it's starting to hold. So I'm going to put some more screws in just to further secure it. I'm doing one now, I guess. Oh, I didn't do these corners, so I'm going to do that. All right, so now I have in each of the corners. So now I'm going to put ones in all the middles. So now I have it in all areas that I need it. So basically, all it's going to be doing is going like this, lifting up, and that up and down up and down all right it looks like it's working <laughs> and at some point if you see a screw slipping then i could invest in getting wood that is longer and i could redo this whole thing to make it like you know actually fit properly but for now it seals up enough so that it'll keep the heat in and the last step will be brackets i don't have brackets right now but basically if you want to line it up to the end right here see this like how it's like from this end of the wood to this end of the wood you want to line it up like this then you want to put the the hinges here like one face here one face here one face here one face here and that when you open it this gives it room to fully open if you put it like you know in a different position it won't fully open you could do that or you could bring it all away to the end like this and the same thing bracket bracket i mean Whatever, hint, 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 hint. <laughs> and that way it'll open um, properly for you. So yeah, that's the greenhouse. Once again, my name is Sean Desiree. I'm a furniture maker and an artist living in Albany. This is uh, our garden that we have. This is the, my first year gardening and we're slowly expanding and putting more plots next to um, each other. And the idea is to grow food for the community and also Albany started this Albany free fridge where it's gonna be different uh, fridges in different places, refrigerators in different places in the city. And my goal is to help support that and fill the refrigerators with fresh produce, which you know is hard to get in, in our neighborhood, specifically in the South End. So yeah, thank you for tuning in, checking it out. And I'm excited to talk to you all.